Hi, we are Chris and Tammy Lakey, and we have been in Newton almost all 22 years of our marriage. Uh, about a year and a half ago, we really began to feel like it was time for us to go. And we put kind of our yes on the table and told God we'd go anywhere. And God said, I want you to stay in Newton. And it kind of took the wind out of our sails to think that we would go anywhere, but he chose for us to stay here. Um, so in that, we felt like if we were going to stay in Newton, then we needed to see Newton as our mission field, and we needed to see ourselves as missionaries, as being sent. We kind of took our cue from John 1.14 and the message. It reads that Jesus took on flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. And so that's kind of been our theme, is that we were going to incarnate into the neighborhood and um, just take seriously where we were going, that we would engage the people in our neighborhood in the same way that we would if we were gonna be able to go to China. We would learn the culture in the neighborhood, learn what makes the people in our neighborhood tick, kind of figure out what the rhythms were, and then find our way to be able to engage people through that. And um, so we put our house on the market and decided to make some changes with school we chose our elementary school based on the neighborhood that we wanted to move into and asked for a transfer into that school and the principal is new this last year and she was super excited that a family wanted to send their kids to the school and so we got the transfer request there and we had an amazing school year god met us there he um, went ahead of us and gave our kids new friends and gave us lots of places for each of our kids to plug in in their new schools um, he even provided a part-time job for me in the school that we had chosen to send our kids to, our little kids to, the elementary school. And so we just feel like uh, we could just totally see God saying, this is where I want you, this is how I want you to engage, this is where I want you to be. Long before we actually settled on this house, we knew that we felt like this was the neighborhood that God was calling us to. And so Tammy began last fall driving through the neighborhood when she dropped kids off at school and praying for the neighborhood and just dreaming about living here. And so I think that one of the keys for us is just covering this experience in prayer. So about two months ago, we finally were able to move into this neighborhood. We live at the corner of 3rd in Kansas. One of the first things I was shocked by, and I shouldn't have been shocked, but it just shows you how God works when you pray, uh, but we had moved into the neighborhood and it wasn't, I mean, it was the first day that kids started coming around and we immediately met neighbor kids that, you know, you always wonder when you move into a neighborhood, how long is it going to get take to get to know people or how long till people start feeling comfortable with your presence in the neighborhood? Uh, you know, when do you go talk to the neighbors and introduce yourself? And, you know, some of those pressures that come with moving into a new community and, um, and yet we had prayed for this neighborhood uh, so long, asking God to bring us the right people and make the right connections. And we really felt it from the day we moved in that he had went before us and prepared these kids especially. And uh, really our house has become a hub in the neighborhood, even beyond what I think we could have expected. Uh, just in answer to, to prayer that he would bring us people that he wanted connections with and through that has come connections with the adults as well. Obviously the best way to be able to engage people with the gospel is to get to know them and to find out their stories and as we just kind of have our presence here we found that our neighbors are coming here and they're sharing their stories with us. They'll come and talk to us on our front porch or on the sidewalk in front of our house and, and they're willing to share a lot quickly. We don't even have to spend months getting to know them before they're sharing, you know, the hard stuff of their life. And we know that it's the hard stuff of life that that's where Jesus meets us.